I already knew you were behind me. You could have announced yourself. Tap me on the shoulder. Whisper to my ear. <laughs> what is up, you guys? So, I am very much uninspired today. So, you know what? I thought to myself, why not film? Why not film something? Let me get some creativity pumping. It doesn't matter what I create. It doesn't matter if I like the ending or not. It just matters if I create something and kind of get my gears going back into my head. You know what I mean? I hope you understand. I had a cool thought. Since it's christmas e time, but I'm going to be doing a elf. An elf. And I thought to myself, I have so many drawings that I plan on cutting up for a collage. Why not make an elf a collage? Why not turn a collage into an elf? Why not... Y'all know what I mean. My hands are very dry. I got a haircut too. Makes me look younger. Maybe skinnier. Anyways. Ah! As always, I do my collages on these, uh, like... I don't know what the... I don't know what these are called. It's the thick backing to a frame that I buy. And I have a lot of frames and I have a lot of these, so I like to do my collages on these. I don't know, it's not wood. It's, you know what I mean. A lot of people ask me, where do I get my frames? I get them at Michael's. Michael's has like a really good deal on frames most of the time. I'll show you. These are the frames I get from Michael's. Um, they usually have a 75% off of these. 10, 10, 11 dollars a piece on these. If you see my art wall, you'll see that some of the frames are a little different. That's because I used to go to like Goodwill and I used to buy a whole bunch of frames and then repaint them. So I'd sand them down, put a primer and then spray paint whatever color I want. That works too and it's actually a little bit cheaper. I got a whole bunch of these that I'm gonna go ahead and prime. What I use is gesso. I think it's Liquitex basic gesso. So sit back, let's go ahead and relax. This is gonna be more of a chill video. I'm gonna be talking a lot. I apologize. That's kind of what I do. Let's prime these woods. Come on. Well, hello, my lovely darling. So I use the gesso and then I use a mixture of like blue and gray or black to make this like bluish gray. Everything's really smooth as what I like. I think it's such a pretty shade of like a bluish gray. It really will make the oil pastel cutouts shine. As you guys probably know, I don't do a lot of backgrounds. I'm not familiar with it. And I also like the main person being the, to be protruding out. So I don't like to do a lot in the background all the time. I'm actually gonna be using a bigger one, this bigger one, and we're gonna make a big fat elf. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna go get the pages and show you what I'm gonna be working with. Okay, so here is the mess of oil pastel drawings that are unfinished or I just don't like. You know what? This is the candy corn man that I drew and I am in love with his face. I'd hate to ruin him, but I think I'm gonna cut him up. Let me hold him off for just a second. Let me cut the other ones up. If I don't like how the other ones look, I'm definitely gonna end up using him. And we're cutting and we're cutting as we love oh cutting. Anyways, um, yeah, so I pretty much do these with a lot of the drawings I make on Instagram live because I don't usually love them. Um, so yeah, this is just me cutting them up. Um, I have a lot more of them, but I just didn't feel like, you know, using the old ones. Okay, so I kind of changed my mind because I didn't like any of these. I tried my best to find something out of these scraps that I liked and I couldn't find anything. So I think it's time to sacrifice this uh, juicy man. Here, let me try one more thing. Let me, let me woogle waggle a little bit before I completely destroy this little man. Oh girl, not a whole damn bird in this video. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm so sorry I'm whistling, but... <laughs> okay, so I think I found a good little spot. Um, it's very much giving me a man sloth from Goonies. I mean, half my artwork looks like Sloth from the Goonies. I think I'm gonna go with this. But other than that, I think I'm ready to go. I'm gonna start uh, outlining everything and let's hope and pray for the best. Okay, so I forgot to film some of it, but right now I'm just using some Mod Pods to paste it on. This part kinda sucks. So here we are. I went ahead and uh, got everything uh, put down. I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out like a hat Maybe a body, maybe even a hand, I don't know. But I'm gonna keep it as loose as possible, keep it as painterly as possible, and just have fun with it. It ain't gonna be uh, like a crazy whatever. So originally I was going for like an elf on the shelf type vibe, um, and I didn't like it, so I ended up making him an actual body and a hand with a, with a little candy cane. Here's my little outline of this, uh, it, uh it's a, uh, 
What, are, what am I saying? This is an elf. Why does it look so funky? I, I, ugh, my god, I can't even talk. This is the black I'm gonna be using. It's golden acry fluid acrylic. I like doing this with the outline because it's really bold. And even if you dilute it, and it, it makes it a little bit more spreadable, even when you do that, it's very pigmented. I like to do it with acrylic first, and then I'll go in with oil, but I usually do these with oil paint. So I'm gonna go in. Y'all have seen this before. So I'm rewatching it, and oh my gosh, I was struggling to talk, dude. Oh my god, it's so funny. I think it was like 2 a.m. when I started doing this, and I must have taken that Tylenol because I was out of it, girl. I don't, I don't do stuff like that, but Tylenol got me messed up. Here's my little elf. With this little hat. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate him. Uh, I'm gonna keep it as like messy as possible because I'm not trying to have this like super clean looking. And I'm also gonna do my scratchy scratch. You already know I'm about to do that. Period. This is what he looks like. Look at his sharp little ears. Uh, I'm gonna start with the face. Um, I was thinking doing crazy colors, but then I was also thinking I'm like, I should keep it mellow and like blend everything in. I did some fancy pantsy blending. I don't know if you could tell. You can kind of see the seams of where the oil pastel paper is. But altogether, I think I'm a pretty good blender. But I think I'm gonna ha have the clothes be very um, messy looking. Cause I like, I like that almost like cartoonish, uh, what's it called? Y'all know what I'm, if you've seen any of my collages, you know that I like to kind of like, Scribble inside the lines. I just have them goofy looking. I think I have some good plans for where I want to put the colors And I think it's it's about time to just color it on in. I think I'm gonna leave the hand alone for now So yeah, just like the outline I really didn't have any plans with the coloring inside So I started with red because what is Christmas without some red and some Kenny Kane uh, type stuff And I went with some yellow and then I didn't like that yellow and I went a little brighter and a little bit like neon and then I went back to the original like dirty yellow because I liked it more anyways I started filling the hand in I wanted to go the same kind of uh, color pattern as the face but that slowly didn't really work out so I wanted to make it a little red like his, like he's a little cold and like he got some bad frostbite hello okay so um so far I have the hand down in the head but this is just the first coat hopefully before too long I can put a second coat on I'm gonna finish out the colors uh, in the hat and the rest of the shirt or whatever. I think I'm gonna have this whole thing be green. Y'all ready? He's very much sloth, but I think he's a cute sloth from the Goonies. Okay, let's get back into it. After like spending about 15 minutes trying to find a good green, I finally mixed a good green because I like that green. So I'm gonna fill up uh, this whole area. Ew, not me using green though. Who is this? Who am I? Anyways, I just had to get into a festive mood and you know, it's green, red, and I don't know what other color. Is it silver or tinsel? I don't know. So as I was filling everything in, I realized how flat everything looked compared to like the hand and the face. It just looked a little one dimensional and I really wanted to add some depth. So that's what I did. Once I filled in everything, I just blocked everything out with some color and this is the white hat. I was not a fan of this white hat. It just looked a little awkward even at the end, but you know, I stuck through it. Here's my candy cane, very delicious. But yeah, I just wanted everything to look a little bit more cohesive and it looked a little, like I said, one dimensional or two dimensional or would it be, why is there a damn train? Hello, oh, hello. So it's actually been quite a few days. Um, honestly, I, it took a long time. It took a very long time to dry. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I realized the shirt and the sweater and the hat, it all just looked like it was stamped on and it looked really, it de didn't have any depth. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know if you could tell, but I did add a lot of shading to the shirt. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I add some shading to the sleeves to add some depth. I added a little drop shadow right here. I'm gonna have to brighten up the hand a little bit too because the hand is very dark compared to the face. Yeah, damn. I thought this was gonna be a faster project. It's gonna turn out to be a disaster. Shh. Let's do this. So after I added a whole bunch of dimension and kind of refined everything, I went in with a bolder black outline just to add some sharpness. I wasn't originally gonna do this, but I figured might as well because it kind of looked a little bit uh, messy. Hello, welcome back. Here's my plan. I'm actually gonna do scratchy scratches. Then I'm going to fix up the hat a little bit because it looks a little awkward with that whatever color it's doing now. I will redo the background and hopefully I can get it all done tonight. <clears throat> Let's hope and pray because I'm done having this look at me.
Y'all were warned. Y'all can't even be mad at me. You already knew I was gonna do this. Period, per. As you know, this is a scratchy scratch. Sorry. So a little off topic, but can we talk about how fine Sloth is from the Goonies? I'm sorry, I said it. Ain't no shame in my game. I think the man is fine. Um, but have you seen him outside of his costume? Yes, of the ma'am. I just need you to go Google it if you want to. Do it after the video, but yes, he's very much fine. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna redo the background. I might make the background just a little bit lighter but not like crazy light. I don't know why I'm talking about the Goonies uh, in the middle of Christmas. Um, well, you know what? You, this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is the finished piece. Oh, Mr. Goonie Claws. Um, can you please help me in the comments and let me know what I should name this man? I did it. It's done. Mr. Elf. I don't know what to call him. Let me know what I should call him in the comments below. But yes, it is all done. Tis done. Tis of the season. This took a very long time. Mainly due to the fact that uh, I put the first layer really thick. I didn't think I was actually going to add like shading in the bottom. I thought I was just going to be doing like blocks of shapes and then maybe doing the scratches. Because that's what I usually do when I do collages. But yeah, no. It kind of feels like a a maze underneath your fingertips. Very much creepy. Very much the sloth. We love the sloth from the Goonies. He's my, he's my idol. Also, kinda hot, not gonna lie. Anyways, what do you guys think? I showed one of my best friends and she said she hated it. I love her. <laughs> Before I begin the outro, I do wanna say I have an exciting video before Christmas. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know who I drew. You're the mean one. That's all I'm gonna say. As always, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave it a like, and don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell so you know when I post, because I post every Tuesday, and I'm a little random. Anyways, he's gonna be posted before Christmas, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in onto my channel. Um, If you guys have any questions, concerns, let me know down below. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below. I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas. I will see you guys once again before Christmas. Just an exciting little video, if you know what I mean. Stay festive.